Hey guys, it's me, your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and welcome back to our in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. So today on the menu, I want to do some particularly dangerous stuff. So let's pull the map up and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. One thing we want to do is we want to go here to the Bestial Sanctum because we have a couple death roots that we've picked up across different dungeons in our playthrough and we're going to go feed Gurunk, the Beast Clergyman and something pretty dangerous is going to happen. And I'm feeling pretty squirrely today. I think what I want to do is we're going to go try to beat the Celia Crystal Tunnel, which we are still probably significantly too low of a level to do that. But there's some really valuable stuff in there. Some upgrade stones that I want, a couple items that do matter to us. Because if you recall, back when we went here only to get the Sword Seal and to kill Grail, we, uh... Didn't really worry about this place because there's nothing else in there that's worth worrying about. But, um, I do know that we got out of there as fast as we could before because it didn't matter to us. And now it does. Because now we can pick up the tier of upgrade material that we do want in those places. So let's go to Garonk first. Okay, he hasn't lost his mind yet. I'm happy about that. However, we're going to give him all three of these, and something crazy is going to happen. And the other thing is, he's going to give us some sorcery, not sorceries, some uh, miracles that could become quite relevant to us, because one in particular is quite useful. I'll explain that when I get to it. Alright, he gave us the Beast's Roar, Beastial Vitality, and then Beastial Sling. So the Sling is the one in particular that I am kind of concerned about. It's pretty good. Um, it can break poise incredibly easy. And here's what I think is going to happen. How many... Okay, I've got 5,300 runes. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if I die. I don't want to die, but just saying. Yep. There he is. <laughs> he is now standing. He is hostile as fuck. We gotta get out of here. This guy will ruin your day. I'm telling you. Jesus. Yep, we gotta get out of here. Alright. So, just one of those attacks is gonna kill us for sure. I guarantee it. But what we need to do is we need to try to do enough damage to him to get him to calm down. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go so well. Um, that one particular attack that he does right there, yeah, it goes through walls and stuff. It's it's pretty bad. Shit. I don't want to lose my stuff, though. Alright. Come here, Gurunk. Let me try shooting him, see what happens. Come on. Nothing? Okay. Wow, it doesn't give a shit. There we go. Alright. So let's try this. Jesus! <laughs> he always uses that. Good lord. Alright, let's give this one more go. I hate that freaking attack that goes through the walls. It's not fair at all. Alright. Get him, my children. Go. Come on. Get him! Oh shit! Well, <laughs> I suppose I could try to fight him like normal. He's gonna, like, wreck my people, though. Woo! <laughs> D 
damn. All right. So let's just do this. He's gonna kill us in one hit no matter what, so. Yee! Well, just like that. <laughs> All right, so we probably are going to have to we're probably just going to have to not mess with him for now cuz he I do remember pretty consistently in my in my main playthrough he was able to kill me in like basically one hit on my character that was damn near level 100 so I mean here's what I want to do like the trick here is The trick here is you want to try to use the poison cloud on him because that will get him, but come here. Will he get poison though? That's the question. <laughs> there we go. Goodness. That only took 90,000 years. And now... I want to try to do this. We're not going to need our flail because we sure as hell can't get near him. Let's do this, huh? Let's have some fun. Alright, you. Sit still. <laughs> it worked. I do not want to get one shot, though. Just how many walls will it go through? That's the question. <laughs> and you, don't even think about aggroing. Well, that was satisfying to watch. Oop. Is he calm again? Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> I think that was all it took. A little bit of uh, poison, a little bit of uh, ballista to the face. He just needed a stern talking to. Interesting. If you clip the camera into him, you can see his mouth moving, and it looks like a very tiny head. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go easy on you this time, pal. But next time... Next time you better behave. You understand me? Alright, so we picked up a memory stone in the last episode. And what we want to do... So we want to memorize another spell. I'm going to keep the poison cloud on us because it just tends to be such a lifesaver. It has many, many uses. And this guy, I don't know. I want to give this more stage time. I want to try to give this more of a chance and see if it has better applications than what I've tried it on. And we'll keep heal just because. You never know. We're going to keep this because it's our biggest damage dealer most of the time. And then this guy here is also a heavy damage dealer. So let's do this. We will equip something like the Bestial Sling, which can break posture on several different kinds of enemies, and it can be pretty good. I'll demonstrate it real quick just to show you what I mean. Let's check this out. It can be cast in succession. It costs almost no FP, and I'm telling you, like three or four of those, and you can break posture on even large enemies. It's pretty cool. So we're going to be using that. Uh, let's see, hold on a second. This, I really like this talisman, man. It's been so good for these guard counters, but I'm wondering if we can't 
replace it with something just a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. It's not looking like it. We can probably like negate the amount of damage that we take on top with the Radagon Sword Seal. Like the bonus damage you take is like 12% or something. We can probably almost negate that with this, but I'm not sure. I really like this though. I like this because it... I don't know. The base one's not that good. Once we have the better version, it'll be better, but we could raise our faith, too. I don't know. And then there's this one. This one is hard to say no to, but I don't know. I like my guard counters. They, they well, but we don't need to one-shot people with our guard counters, so let's do something a little bit smarter. Let's just go with stamina regeneration, because who the hell doesn't want more of that? All right. Now that we're done with that ordeal... We are going to go to the Celiana Crystal, or the Celia. Did I call it the Celiana before? The Celia Crystal Tunnel. This is, uh... Oh, shit. If you thought the ruin strewn precipice was bad, that's because you've never been here. This is, uh... Very much a nasty place. Did I grab this item? I did. Okay. Alright. So this place is... Quite hazardous. It's terrible. But... I'm going to show you probably one of the better ways that you can get through it. So, there are only two enemy types across this place. You've got your crystal guys that are excavating away, but then you also have these fucking centipede guys that are just the worst. Like, there's no easy way to deal with them. It truly is terrible. So, I think what I'm going to do is this how many bolts can i craft not many oh boy so we're gonna have to be smart about this okay poison or not poison fire fire it is all right so let's get our crossbow out and we are going to start shit <laughs> we're gonna start pulling these guys Real quiet. We do not want to wake up the centipede that's up on the roof right here. Because, trust me, you'll see what I mean. He's up there on the roof. Alright. And because we have the correct damage type for this place, we can ruin these guys completely. These guys are not the problem. The problem is 100% absolutely the jerk that's up on the roof up there. Are you serious? That's fine. Shit. <laughs> we'll do it this way then. Come on. I'll free aim in. I don't give a shit. Easy peasy. For now. We only got one more up there. Let's see if we can get this guy. Yeah, there we go. Right in the back of the knee. Surely that was inconveniencing. Got a pissy off. Bad enough to want to come over here and do something about it, right? Come on. That's it. This way, sir. I'm right here. Come on. That's it. Alright, and we are getting all the drops. Hooey, 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 hooey. Okay, so here's what I recommend for this part. One of these centipede guys is going to stand up on that roof. Even if you try to sneak through here, he ends up standing up. Like, I don't know what it is about the aggro... It's super annoying, but what you want to do is instead of trying to get that guy's attention, I don't recommend doing that. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. I recommend going through here. Sneak your way up here. Get into this little house right here. This is what you want to do. All right, then we got the gravity stone fan. A gravity stone chunk. These are throwables that are quite good. And you, you should come in here. Come on. Aggro. Hello? Whatever. I'll kill your ass. I don't give a shit. Eey! That's what I don't want. <laughs> don't want this guy to be a pain in the ass because that's exactly what he's going to do. So that projectile that they have is uh, capable of going directly around corners. It's a seeking attack and it will track you. It's super annoying. And there's no way to, like, hit him through the ceiling. I've tried with everything. Like, I've tried Black Flame. I've tried all the shit. And never tried this, though. Let's try it. 
yeah, nothing is going to go through the fucking ceiling and hit this guy. It's terrible. So, let's try this just for shits. Oh my god, it worked. Holy crap. <laughs> Man, sometimes I love being wrong. Okay, this changes everything. Now we can get rid of this clown. Eat fucking shit. All right. That completely increased our odds of surviving this part. So, if we crouch, that guy won't see us, right? We're doing all right. Now we want to get rid of these guys, though. Okay. And no matter how tempted you get, do not get distracted and try to pick up shinies. Just don't do it. As I pick up the cracked crystal. <laughs> that was a complete mistake. Um... All right, here's what we want to do now. So, while being as sneaky as possible and minding our surroundings, let's see, what do we got? Is there anybody down here? There is. All right, so here's what we want to do then. Instead of aggroing that guy directly, don't you see me? What we want to do is we want to try to get this guy over here. So, let's do this. Let's do a little bit of a uh, do a little bit of Peyton Manning stuff here, huh? I'm not a football guy. I don't give a shit about football. I don't even know what Peyton Manning looks like. I just know that he's good at throwing stuff. Apparently, let's try, huh? Almost. It's close. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This is going pretty well. So now we're going to get into. Probably the most dangerous part of this exchange. Um, we're going to first hit this guy with some fire. And then we're going to jump down and mess him up as bad as we can. So instead of a fire pot, I think I would prefer to hit him with black flame. Fully charged. So let's do this. And now let's hit him with a pot. Bam! There we go. Alright. That felt fantastic because those guys suck they're bad and then there's one more that's up here so that technique that we just used went pretty well i think it went it went nicely so let's do this do i have another fire pot i do okay so this guy is going to get up regardless so just get over here get your damage ready boom there we go All right. Yeah, there's nothing you can do to sneak up on that guy, unfortunately. He's going to stand up and give you a hard time no matter what you do. We'll take all their stuff, do their job for them. Here we go. Yes, smithing stone tier fives. That is what I want. That is exactly what I'm here for. Don't particularly care for anything else i'm gonna be honest with you and the boss here is gonna be damn near impossible for us to kill at our level and yes always 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 pick up your cracked crystals no matter what because they are important they're going to be super duper important when we run out of things to throw all right and then over here you don't want to miss these parts you don't want to skip over these tier 5 crystals that are just kind of blending into the surroundings. There's one back here, too. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. This is going surprisingly well, and I regret to announce that it only gets worse from here. I promise. It's, it's really bad. But we're going to pick up all of this cracked crystal, every last bit of it, until we can't hold any more. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Did I miss any? Doesn't look like it. Okay, now we're going to go into the little house. There we go. Payday. Great. So that pretty much covers the initial room. The initial BS. And then you can proceed through here no you cannot actually that's right you actually can you make this jump i tried a couple times on another character and it was not successful 
Come on. Come on. There's got to be a way to do it. No? Okay. That's fine. We're just going to have to get in through the top. You can actually jump your way over there. It's not difficult. Not that we need to do it, but it can be done. Like so. Um, yep. And from here, we're just going to make our way up there. And kick that ladder down and create a shortcut that we're not going to need because the boss is probably going to ruin us anyway. Um, curious to see how I do against him, to be honest. Okay. No. Not what I wanted at all. Now, you listen here. I need to get back up there. Do you hear me? I need to get back up there. Look, man. Don't give me a hard time with this. There we go. Just want to get the damn item. My cuckoo glint stone. Which I have too many of. I guess I'm carrying too many. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Trying to glintstone excavate me, man. <laughs> if you think you can. Now these guys can hit pretty hard if you're not careful. And there's a reason that they beef that guy up pretty hard. Because for one, he will do significantly more damage than the other ones when he hits you. And he can also take more hits. So just keep that in mind. I don't think we need to sneak for this part. There shouldn't be... Any of these guys over here always break everything because you never know what's hiding. Thank you, thank you. All right. Hey, more. Don't you love that? All right, so here's what we're going to do. We need FP. Bad. And what I would like to do... Is I would like to experiment just a little bit. Shall we? Let's get rid of this. Well... Let's see if we can have both without fat rolling. Shit. <laughs> the fat roll is real, so... We're just gonna have to make do. And use the charms that we have. Alright, you. Let's see what this does. Do I have? I do not. Let's see. Let's increase our damage every bit that we can, huh? Like, how many can I make? Okay, I'll make just like five. Because I'm not going to need too many. But I do want to increase my damage for this part in particular. Alright, eat this. Oh my god, that felt amazing! Because these guys suck! <laughs> this is fantastic! Alright, so where's the other one? The other one should be standing up. There, Or maybe there's only one for this part. Okay, that's fine. I could have swore there were two. Oh yeah, I feel nervous. I should get... Oh, there we go. So let's make sure we get this guy, huh? Wait, did we kill that guy? Yeah, yeah, okay. We already went there. All right. Oh, come on. I can't see him, but, like, I know there's another one up there. It's driving me nuts. All right, whatever. Let's just go up here and vaporize these guys. Well, maybe there really was only one. Lucky me. Yes, you. I don't care that you see me. Not like you can beat me. Oh, shit. He might beat me. Damn, one hit. Shit, we are bad news for these guys. Okay. Nice. You see, we are picking up relevant stuff here. There's the ladder that I mentioned that we want to kick for the shortcut that's not going to do us any good because I know we're going to beat the boss. Um, you got to stay positive, though. You never know. 
I might surprise you guys. All right, Rock Blaster. So that, you'll notice, is slightly different than the one that we already picked up. We got Shatter Earth before. Rock Blaster is its angry older brother. Requires more intelligence to use. Requires more FP to cast, that's for sure. But uh, the Shockwave is significantly larger and the damage is a lot higher with that attack. So keep that in mind. Oh, hi there. Man, don't get mad at me if you want to raise, alright? I know you're just a union man, but pay your union dues. Go to management. Alright, I want to stay topped off, because it is giving me flasks as I go through here, you know? Alright, and we want to go... We came from that way, we don't need to drop down for any reason. Not that I can recall, at least. So the only way to go is onward. So we're going to press on through this here tunnel. This looks fake. And it's not, and I hate that. Alright, this is where it starts to get just a little annoying. So we're going to have more of these... I call them centipede things. Like, that's, that's what I refer to them as, but when you think about it, they're really not. They, they more closely resemble silverfish, I think, is a better way to describe them. And, uh, I know there's one right here. Yeah. Alright. Fire pots. We need fire pots. Okay. Get these fire pots going. Wow, well, I missed. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, so get rid of that. Oh shit! Phew, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> All right, um, that was a fluke. I was not trying to throw anything at that guy. I was actually trying to block. Did he drop the glaive? No, dragon wound grease. All right. So what I would like to do for this part, it's probably not doable, but. Maybe it is, actually. Let me... We're optimistic here. This is... Let's try to be... Do this in LP fashion, huh? Be optimistic. Let's try to skewer these guys. One bolt. <laughs> for each of them. Let's see if this will work, huh? Uh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Nope. Gotta go. Sorry. What? You're not gonna do the thing? Fine, you dumbass. <laughs> wow, why did it do so much damage to the other one? Was it because of the exalted flesh? Like, was that really it? Ay, he dodged me. That's fine. Alright, come here, you. Okay, so... I really don't want to have to take a melee approach with these guys, but at some point you're going to have to if you get overwhelmed. And my advice to you is if you have to get to a point where you have to go melee on those guys in order to handle them, you either guard counter or you jump tack. Because those are going to be your two things that work best against those guys. They are susceptible to having their posture broken, but not so much against blunt damage. I find thrust damage to be more effective against these guys and my testings. Oh man. Probably shouldn't mess with this guy at all, because he's just bad. He's just straight up bad news. <laughs> and for some reason I remember there being an upgrade item in that corner, but I guess not. Okay. Let's see. I have my children with me. That's good. We're just going to do like... Oh man, I have a lot of runes on me. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to. I'm going to give this boss one really solid attempt, and I'm going to bring as many fire pots as I possibly can in here. I don't think a beast lore pot would work against him. This one didn't really do anything. I mean, it 
causing someone. So maybe this would work. Maybe this would work well with my spirit summon. All right, we're going to have to find out. Okay, this is bad. This is so bad. This is not going to go good at all. Well, let me do this. I need as much defense as possible. Put my thing here back on. All right, this is going to go so poorly. <laughs> I can already tell. Okay. All right. Uh, fuck it. Here we go. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Hey, let me get this jump attack on him. Ring the bell, fast! Eat. All right, heal. Let's see if it works. Yee. Yeah, you and your damn rocks. Alright, here we go. There's the lightning. And then... Kaboom. And... Oh, that didn't work at all. No, fuck! It's over. Oh my god, it's... Not over. Fuck. Nope. Nope. Heal. There we go. And then the sonic attack. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do, tail? There it is. Nope, that didn't work. That didn't work. Fuck. All right, he takes. Oh, he takes considerably more damage to the head and the base of the tail. But shit. Uh uh. You gotta be real careful when he charges. Like I mean, oh no, bad, bad, bad. I just wasted a... Wasted a bubble. Uh-uh. Fuck. A oh, wow! Firebomb does great! Yeah, blocking your rocks, boy. Oh, shit. Why did... Why isn't he going for my guys? No, uh uh Shit. All right. So, I really, really was hoping that those jumping attacks that I did in the beginning of the fight would have given me, like, a better shot at uh, taking him down. <laughs> but he did not break posture. That was crazy. Normally, he does. But not that time. We're just certainly not strong enough for that. Alright, what do I want? Um... Stamina. I'm gonna need stamina for this, so. Run, run, run. And this run back really sucks, by the way. Like, there's no, uh. What you call it? There is no. Stake America. Like, you're totally on your own for this part. You just gotta run. Let's do this. Run past these assholes because they suck. No. No. I hate you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Here we go. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. this. Oh, no! That was close. <laughs> oh, no! What the fuck? Okay. Heal. Heal. Okay, you gotta roll that attack super late. Destroy him, my children! 
Ooh, get a bubble going. Ow! Jesus. Alright, so these. These did remarkably well against him. <laughs> Ooh! That was close. Okay, there he goes. Get the block in the third turn, yes. Alright. So I'm just gonna, like, wear him down with these things because they do incredibly good. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah, you gonna come after me with some lightning, pal? Get him, my children. Keep hitting him. Oh, wow, we're so close. That's it. Wear him down, you little heathens. Make daddy proud. Mmm. Oh, shit. That attack has so much reach. That is so bullshit. Are you serious? No, 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 no. Here we go. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh. Mm. Yes! Yes, come my children. Do some damage for me. Mm. No, 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 fuck this attack! There we go. Shoo! Oh my god, one of them survived. Jeez. Alright, so, Somber Smithing Stone 6, Smithing Stone Tier 7, Gravity Stone Chunk, and then the Somber Miner's Bell Bearing Tier 1, which sounds similar to the Bell Bearing that we got before already from the Crystal Golem, but they're in fact not the same thing. You'll see what I mean. So let's go back to the entrance. Holy crap, my adrenaline is still pumping because that fight was equally close. You know what? I guarantee you a lot of people are going to be like, Damn, dude, you suck at this game after seeing that fight, but I'm going to be real straight with you. I am 100% shocked that I was even able to kill that guy on the second try because that's not the first time we're going to fight that guy. He only appears as a boss fight in this particular cave or tunnel. Then he becomes like a normal enemy type up in the plateau area where he's even well harder to kill in my opinion some people might find this one more difficult because you're confined to a space whereas when we fight him later on in the plateau we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to kill him on torrent and have more mobility out in a field but I tell you what man I'm kind of shocked that I was able to kill that guy in two tries because he's a doozy like he's really friggin tough he takes like basically flat damage against all damage types like strike stab slash doesn't matter what it is he essentially raises the middle finger to all damage types so he's got a ton of health and defense and uh i don't know i think my minions of the night had a lot to do with that so before we were able to purchase these the tier one and two of the regular smithing stone now we can purchase tier one and two of the somber smithing stone which is good, because now we can have better control over the special weapons that we upgrade, if we so choose. And then the other thing we got from him was these big boys right here. We got, well, this guy here. We got five of these smithing stone tier 7s, which is good, because if we just find one more of those, we can get a weapon straight up to uh, 20, I guess it would be. One away from where the level caps for this item so uh six of them would give us the first two upgrades because as you guys know by now it goes two and then four for each tier and then six so that's a nice little boost we got two of these or we got eight of these so now we can take our weapons even further which is nice and then we also got that guy tier six and we need a five because we're missing that but a tier 5 is what we need, but we're going to have to go somewhere kind of special for that. Alright, let's take a look at our upgrades, shall we? I actually want to see... 
I'm going to use this. And we'll see if Fia has anything new to say since we did progress Roger's dialogue. I am pleased to see. Would you like me now? Got my hugging condom on. Well, <laughs> rip. You are so. Then good day to you. Come on, let me use it. Yes. <laughs> no, it didn't actually do it. Would you like me to now? I'm thinking that we probably have her dialogue as far as it can go right now. Oh, I wish I could fast forward through this. You are then good day to you. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's as far as that will go. Roger's dialogue is as far as it will go. Still need to find a tier five for our children of the night, our minions. Now let's see what we can do. Oh yeah! <laughs> so just a couple more of those, but that got us to a whole new extra level. We got that thing up to plus 14 now, which is killer. Now we are starting to get to the point where we're going to need tier 5s, because we're in dire need of them. Yep. But that's good, though, because we have a tier 6 waiting for us, so as soon as we find a tier 5, this thing is as good as plus 6. And then this guy. Okay, so we need tier 3s. That's what we should be on the hunt for at this point. Great. Now let's run down here, see if there's anything going on in this place. No? Okay, so once we get to a certain point in the playthrough, we're going to find... Uh, <clears throat> what's her name? Gideon's adopted daughter, right there. Okay. So now that we have all the crazy dangerous stuff kind of out of the way for this playthrough, I dare say it's time to go do... A little more exploring, shall we? Because I still got some time. <clears throat> Alright. So we really kind of like wishy-washed our way through here and didn't explore a whole lot in this body of water. And we have not explored a damn thing out in like this body of water. We kind of just avoided it and ran through. So let's start here, shall we? We'll go back to the beginning and kind of creep our way down into here shall we so yeah let's go back to the beginning and we'll go into that little crevice that i just pointed out nice ah, bad note, oh everyone. i just meant to steal the butterflies i didn't really want to talk to you um no offense good day Oh, it feels good to be on Torrent. Alright, so yeah, let's head back this way. And I want to follow the cliff here, because... As mentioned previously, if you follow these cliff lines here, usually that's a good way to find entrances to caves and stuff like that. And, uh, well, it's a great way to find bats, too weak-ass bats that we can kill in one freaking hit. Right in the ass. Okay, I know it's probably dark as fuck for you guys. My apologies. <laughs> Man, those uppercuts just feel painful, like, through the screen. I just... I feel like I am murdering these things painfully. <laughs> I do not regret going the flail path. 
whatsoever on this character. I do not regret it at all. I am very pleased. And then if we go that way, we can get back up to the highway. Okay, okay. So what about up here then if we were to go the opposite direction and keep following the cliff a little upward? Nothing. Okay, sounds about right. Elden Ring. So taking this guy will take us back up there to the highway. We don't want to do that. We want to explore a little bit. We've covered basically the entire highway. Okay. All right, I think. Yep, okay, and then there's the purified ruins and Let's just keep following this because we have not we have not covered all of this just yet. Most of it, but not all. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll try to cover the coastline through this area. Because I think instead of covering the the area along the water, what I ended up doing was I covered everything up on the road. So it's worth running down through here. And we have another spirit spring that will take us back up to the main road. Don't want to do that. But we do want to do this. <laughs> there you go, guys. Enjoy! <laughs> like what happens to my stomach when I eat Chipotle. There we go. Three tier two smithing stones. All right, I'll take it. Killer. Oh, a bear bear usually means that there's something of value nearby and he is guarding an item oh i cannot you can't sneak up on these guys either that's the thing that like that's the thing that sucks you cannot cheese these bears no matter how hard you try like it's just not gonna happen i'm gonna try Can he really not hear me? Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, he has way too much health for me to possibly sit here and wait this out. So <laughs> here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to... How much does Black Flame do on this guy? Not enough. No! God. Oh, man. That guy hits hard. All right. All right. I just want the item. <laughs> just gave me the sliver of meat. Okay, then we got another bear over here who is nowhere near as dangerous or scary. And just to reset this guy, I'm going to run over to this grace here. And he burped at me. Alright. So we will reset that guy. And then this is a familiar grace that we're at. We are now near the Shabriri Grape Girl. And we've covered basically all of this stuff. So like this entire coastline, we have pretty much covered. So let's do this. We got the item that was being guarded by the super bear. <clears throat> and we don't care to fight the super bear because, well, we don't need to. They're not a good source of rune farming, and yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what we will do, though, is why don't we end this episode in style? 
we will go up here. Yes, let's go up here by Bach. Wait until nighttime, and we are going to kill the Knight's Cavalry that's up here. Yes, yes, yes. Bach, you better keep your head down, man. Ooh, we got to talk to Mill. Oh, boy. Excuse my spiky balls and their inappropriate behavior. I can explain. Your seamster, Bach. He is always eager to see your return. Please, will you talk to him when you can? I'm sure he would be much contented. Hmm, okay. Now that you mention it. Hey, Bach. I uh, was tipped off by somebody saying that you might want to speak with me. Bach the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Hmm. Oh, well, please. He haveth nothing new to say. Let's try this. Maybe we'll rest again. Bok the seamster, I ready to make. I've been lied to. Uh, please. All right. Thanks, Melina. Okay, let's do our thing, huh? We'll wait here till nightfall. And let's kick his ass. Alright. Bach. This could get ugly, pal. You stay here. I got some business to take care of. All right, let me double check my map. Nope, no, don't need to. He's here. <laughs> Hi. Did you miss me? Been a minute since we've seen each other, huh? You missed. All right, so let's do what we did before. Let's, uh, let's just take advantage of his, like, regular attack, huh? go come over here sir there we go oh yeah we hit this guy hard <laughs> ooh damn it alright I'm gonna bubble up just do the regular attack, man. Just swing it. That's what I want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you stuck on a tree? <laughs> That's it. Come on. Now, you can't get careless just because he's... You know, swinging in one particular way against you. Like, he still is going to do basically half my health, as you guys saw, but... He's not particularly problematic for us because our damage is outstanding against this guy right now. Like, we are doing super well. Our weapon is appropriately upgraded, so, I mean, we should be, right? Yeah, you and your stupid ass... Come on. That's it. Let's try to get damage on him and the horse. If we can. Alright, Torrent. I'm going to heal you. Alright, we need to try to get... This next hit needs to be on him as well as the horse. We need to try to get this like a twofer. Here we go. There we go. Well, come here, you. He had, like, a half of a health point left. That's hilarious. Alright, then you get Giant Hunt and the Knight Rider Glaive. This thing is stupid good. It requires a pretty hefty investment of strength to use, 
but it's worth it. It is very much up there with the Golden Halberd, like probably better if you spec it right and use it correctly. It's heavy though. It's not as heavy as the Knight Rider, or it's not as heavy as the Golden Halberd, but it's got the same moveset. This is a slash moveset Halberd. Same strong attack. And the charge attacks are devastating with this weapon. But it's heavy. <laughs> so, I don't think it's something that I'm going to use on this playthrough because I'm not going to need to spec for that much uh, strength for anything. But, it's definitely very cool. It's incredibly good if you're on a strength build. Okay, and then Giant Hunt. I want to talk about Giant Hunt real quick. It's pretty good. I've used it quite a bit, and uh, in PvP in particular, it can be pretty effective. It should be right here. All right, so Giant Hunt. A skill developed for confronting gigantic foes. Step forward from a low stance, carrying the momentum into a sudden upward thrust. And uh, this is good for colossal weapons and uh, spears and twin blades. It's, it's really, really damn good. It's... Uh, I don't have a spear to put it on because I can't change the weapon art that's on the tree spear, like the one that I'm going to use. So I don't really have anything to put this on, but take my word for it. It's it's very cool. It essentially is used to like stab stone digger trolls in the nuts as hard as you can. And it does outstanding damage if you do it timed properly, like as in if you hit for counter damage with it. It can be devastating. It's pretty good for larger enemies that loom over you, like the Stone Digger Trolls. But uh, that, I think, concludes most of our business in this chunk of land. So now, what I will do is... Let's see. We are at time, so I can't commit to any further adventures through the lake. But I'll tell you what I will do. Let's start here. Somewhere pretty modest at the very beginning of Liernia, and what I will do is I'll give you a sneak peek of what we're going to do in the next episode we are actually going to try to explore out here towards the water a little bit more so we'll try to cover some ground out in here just to grab some of the items we'll cover some of these like woody areas that are on the water that can be easy to miss and this is where uh, Vare is we've been that way but everything in between Vare here and these Lascar ruins, we haven't really covered the lot of this. So what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to go out that way, cover some of that, and uh, I think we're going to go look for some caves and stuff. So that way we can actually start kicking some bosses' asses and uh, really making the most of this adventure. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I will catch you guys in the next video.